Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so we're going to talk about um, the active test mode or the self-diagnostic mode, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. But just before I do that, I'm just gonna give you guys uh, a little background on what that does. So, so um, it actually, I've done some research on this, so apparently it, it's fixed some problems. So if you guys have issues with maybe some kind of stuttering when you st stuttering, like like the engine stutters a bit when you turn your ignition on, it might help to clear that. Um, uh, also, it might uh, if you guys have a a key fob, you guys change the key fob on the battery and for whatever reason your car stopped reading the key fob you could do that I've heard that it's fixed that problem um, and essentially what it does is it actually goes through various components of your car and does test and you can actually see or hear the test feel the test just to see where each whether each one of those components actually work so uh, it 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 uh, does a test on the high low beams. It does the test on the uh, the blower fan, low and high. Uh, it does the wiper low and high test, and it pretty much does the test on all the lights: the lights on your dash, the lights in your car, the dome lights, the the uh, headlights, the rear lights. It essentially uh, gives you pretty much a. Um, a report on on those uh, the, the the portion those portions of your car uh, as far as you know whether they're uh, good or not but um, I've also heard that if you have some weird uh, weird issues with your vehicle or if you guys and I am repeating myself with this, but I'm, I was surprised to see that some people have reported that <coughs> their fob key stopped working and then uh, they bought a new battery to replace it and uh, it didn't actually fix the fob key issue. But apparently doing that diagnostic test actually f had the car recognize the fob key again um which is a uh, very very surprising to me um i don't believe it actually gives you certain codes i mean it's possible but you'd have to you'd have to read the check engine lights blinking if there are codes if there are check engine codes on your vehicle you have to be able to read the blinking and it's very very difficult to read that instead of just getting an obd2 scanner and plugging it in uh it'll give you a, a direct readout of what the code is for your uh check engine light and um let's just go to let's just go to how this actually works all right it, it's very simple um all you gotta know is two things all right the uh start button the push button and the uh the button that's on the driver's side door that tells the car that the door is closed all right those are the two buttons that you need to know uh you guys could check out the picture uh, on top but uh with your car off Obviously, you're going to need your key in your car. And with the door open, you're essentially going to press the push start five times. All right. One, two, three, four, five. After doing that, you're going to go and push the, uh, the door button ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then after that, you're gonna push the button, your 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 push up button three times, one, two, three. And right after that, what happens is 
uh, your lights are gonna go on and off. You're gonna hear, um, I think a couple of honks. You're gonna hear the blower motor going full blast on the low setting, full blast. Um, and uh, if you guys have other issues with your car that you might want to try to use this method to try to reset that so that maybe it clears up any kind of electrical glitches or whatever. Um, if you guys have fob key issues, you guys know that it's the fob key that's having the issue. You might be able to try this and uh, get this to work. Now, I know Nissan has a ton of Altimas. They sold a ton of Altimas, but um, this actually works on like, uh, you know, Nissan vehicles, I, I think they changed the, the operation of that, uh, of, of, of the reset, the diagnostic mode, but on like older cars, like 2000, relatively older cars, 2012 and older, 2013, 2014, whatever, um, just try that. It, 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 it works for multiple Nissan vehicles, multi-year vehicles. It's just part, part of the um, Nissan programming uh, system. All right. So if you guys have any of your own personal comments on this, um, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Um, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Uh, leave a comment and... Um, all right, guys. Have a good night.